Okay, inside the zip file that you received with the evil article marketing package, there are going to be a couple different folders. Um, initially, in the first part of, in, in, when you first go inside the folder, you're going to find the PDF that actually explains the uh, evil article marketing methods, and then you're going to also find two subfolders. One is going to be the videos folder, which you will be referred to different videos uh, while you're reading the PDF, and that's where you'll find those. And the second one will be the scripts folder, and that will have the scripts that we're talking about when we're mentioning uh, a double meta refresh. So right here we want to explain the uh, actual theory behind a double meta refresh and why it works um, for this type of traffic for promoting and boosting the views on an easy article. article. Uh, right here we have the, a paid to click source and what's going to happen at the pay to click uh, place like donkey emails is they're going to display your ad and your ad could be just about anything because these people are getting paid to click it so it really doesn't matter um, what's going to happen is is they're going to click it and they're going to go to your first domain you will need two domains in this um, strategy uh, that'll be hosted somewhere uh, some of the free hosting companies it would work with that as well as long as they allow you to upload PHP scripts that is fine uh, but if you have two regular domains even if they are completely done websites it does not matter because you're gonna only be uploading two files which is track1.php on your first domain and track2.php on your second domain and what's going to happen is these pay to click people are going to click the link, the advertisement. They're going to go to your first domain, which is going to be the URL that the uh, pay to click people click is going to be like, for instance, www.mydomain.com forward slash track1.php. And when they hit track1.php, track1.php is going to check to see if the pay to click refer is still there or if it is missing and what I mean by that is easy in articles uh, for instance will track refers um, for traffic that is coming into their site and what that is is if somebody clicks on a link if you click on a link on any website and go to the next website often what will happen is your browser will show the the URL that you that you came from to visit their site and uh, we don't want the easy articles to actually see the URL that we came from so what this actually does is kind of uh, make the browser blank out the refer because it kind of forgets where it came from let's say that, that's probably the simplest way to put it um, what happens is, is domain one they will click on the pay to click uh, link here they will go to yourdomain.com or whatever forward slash uh, track1.php and when track1.php when it comes to that it's going to check right here to see if the refer is blank if it is blank it's going to not it's not going to go on it's going to go straight to your article if it's if it is uh, if it does show a refer it's going to go to domain 2 forward slash track 2.php and it's going to do the same check again and if it finds that the refer is still not blank it's going to go right back to the first one and and, and go in this loop again uh, until the refer is missing if uh, it does find the refer is blank it's going to go ahead and go to your article so right here we've got a check that if the refer is blank it's going to go to your article if it's not blank it's going to go to the second URL in your series and it's going to check again and if it is blank it's going to go on to the easy and article article so now that we actually have a understanding of what's going on um, when you go into the actual scripts folder in the evil article marketing package you're going to find a track1.php, a track2.php, and a winner.php. Now, winner.php is not going to be used when you are live. This is only if you want to test things. 
um, track1.php what you're going to do is you're going to open that file and where it says my art link you're going to actually put the full URL to your article so in other words I'm actually in the eZine articles now and if I go to like say for instance a business category or something I'm just looking for an article I click on this article uh, how to design a logo comes up this is going to be the URL I'm going to copy you know, I want to select it all and copy it and I'm going to put that into the actual my art link you want to put the uh, full URL right in between the quotation marks that are already there now you're going to open up track 2 and you're going to do the same thing now I'm using a context editor which is actually a free editor but it doesn't matter you can use notepad or whatever you want to use uh, to edit this I would I would say that if you're on Windows and you don't have an actual code editor of any kind um, like ultra edit or context or something like that you can uh, I would use notepad if you're on a if you're on like Linux for instance you would use something like gedit if you're in Mac you guys would use whatever you guys use because I've never used a Mac but I am a big Linux user so we would actually go ahead and we would paste that link in here as well now on track one and track two in track one it is going to be the the uh, URL you're going to put in there for my next link is going to be the URL to track two so for instance if I owned the domain mydomain.com I would put forward slash track two dot PHP and in track two I would point it back to the original track one which would be on my first domain dot com whatever your domain name is here that has track one on it is what's going to go right here whatever your domain is in your track one file whatever your domain is that has track 2.php on it it's going to go right here now when you set up your donkey email or whatever paid to click traffic you use you're going to give them the full URL to go to track1.php so that would be you know my first domain.com forward slash track1.php that's going to be the actual link you also use for your donkey email so just to explain what happens here um, person clicks from their paid to click they end up on track1.php um, what happens is it's going to check right here to see if the refer is blank if the referrer is blank it's going to do a meta refresh instantly to your article if it is not blank it is going to go to your next link which would be track 2 and track 2 is going to perform the same check to see if it is blank if it is blank it's going to go to your article if it is not it is going to go back to track 1 now the actual winner file that I have here you could put this on a different domain and for testing purposes you could make your article link actually the link to whatever domain you have winner.php on and make this mytestingdomain.com forward slash winner.php and you would do that on both of these and what would happen is you would uh, when you actually went ahead and tested it you would find out whether you, your blanking of your refer was working or not in most cases you won't have to test this anyway but I left that in there just in case you want to test and what it's going to do is uh, if your refer is blank it's going to say the refer is blanked 
If it's not, it's going to show the refer, which would be the URL of wherever uh, you came from. But anyway, after you have track one and track two set up on your first domain that the paid to click traffic is going to be pointed to, you're going to go ahead and upload this. And like I said, it can be on a website that is totally developed already as long as there's not a track1.php in it. So for instance, if you're on HostGator or something, uh, domains are usually kept in a folder that is actually the name of the domain. So if you had uh, bluewidgets.com, you would go into FTP, go into bluewidgets.com and upload track1.php. And if you had another one called greenwidgets.com, you would go ahead and upload track2.php to greenwidgets.com and you can put it right into the root of the website as long as there's not another file named track1.php or track2.php and I doubt there will be. Um, after you do that, your first domain, which in this example we called bluewidgets.com, your paid to click traffic, you would send them to bluehttp colon forward forward uh, www.bluewidgets.com forward slash track1.php and it would be the same thing um, so basically if we were doing it the way I just said it bluewidgets.com is your first one actually I'm sorry that would go into the second file and this would be greenwidgets.com com again let's look at this paid to click traffic goes to bluewidgets.com forward slash track one dot php it comes down here and checks if the refer is blank it goes to the article or to your winner.php file if you are in testing if not it goes down to greenwidgets.com forward slash track 2.php it does a check if your referrer is blank it goes off to the article or your winner.php file if you are testing it um, if it if the referrer is not blank it goes right back to bluewidgets.com forward slash track 1.php so like I said, we kind of assumed that most people would know how to do FTP on their websites, etc. If you don't know how to do FTP, FileZilla, if you do a search in Google for FileZilla, you will actually find it. It's a free FTP client. If you go to something like YouTube.com and type FileZilla tutorial, you'll find a lot of tutorials in there that show you how to use FileZilla that are actually be better than uh, uh, you know anything we would actually put in this video I've seen some pretty elaborate tutorials that show a lot about FileZilla so if you don't understand how to use it go to YouTube or something there's uh, plenty of information on there on how to use something like FileZilla but that's about it it's pretty easy to set up it's a little confusing when you first think about it in your mind because you're going from your paid to click traffic to your domain that has track1.php on it and then you're also doing your track2.php and track2.php actually goes back to track1 if it finds that the refer is not blanked but uh, you should be able to figure it out it's not very hard um, just go ahead and use maybe the winner.php put that on a different domain and test it and that way you'll know that it's working ahead of time